Hello everyone, I'm Crumbs and welcome back to another episode of Transport Phoebe 2. We are playing the map of Scandinavia and a little bit of Russia and Poland and uh, Denmark. Yeah, Denmark is Scandinavia. But okay, what have happened since last time? There's been quite a lot. I've added small, well, some small bus routes to the isolated towns that is in the middle of nowhere like that one and also this one I have a nice little bus line and I uh, yeah we set that up this boat line um, uh, in the last episode there but then we also well I've done between episodes I've added a bus line from Storuman town to Umeå and uh, I think I added, so yeah, Lillehammer added a bus route down to Oslo. Uh, it's not <laughs> used that, but we, we want to connect all the towns and cities. Uh, so that was done. I also did a l quite a long bus line here from Luleå to Sudankile. Sorry, I can't uh, finish. But I Ivalo. And uh, did I hook that up to, yeah, I hooked that up to uh, Kirkenes here, uh, Kirkenes in Norway. So that is connected. And then I just added some, some roads to connect. I, I think I made a long tunnel here that went down to this. Uh, so you can go from there to there. And there, so everything is hooked, well, almost hooked up. But then we have a bunch of cities here. So I think we will add a train line from Kaliningrad in Russia, on the Russian enclave, and then into Riga. And I think we'll leave that since we have a bus line. Let's go to Tallinn, and then we head to St. Petersburg. and. I'm not sure if I'm going to end that line there. Uh, uh, yeah. Maybe we could go up to uh, this one. Novgorod, because that is not connected. Novgorod. Um, that could be a cool little line there. And then we add a new line from St. Petersburg. And I think I want a big as uh, both airport and train station here that connect all these three cities. We hook it up, and I think they will join the the freight line here. Connect Vasa. Yeah, probably Ulu. And then up to Denkingen. Yeah, and then maybe a small one to connect Lulio and Denking and somehow. I, I don't know. I, w I will uh, do that as we go along. And I definitely want a couple of airports. I'm not sure we can fit them. Maybe we need to shave off this mountain a little bit so we can pop an airport here. Um, yeah, I think I want an airport in the south here. We want one around Stockholm. I don't think we... Well, maybe we can squeeze in one there, but... We definitely want one up here, because there is a few cities up here with a good connection. So somewhere around Luleå, probably here, we can connect that to different cities. And I think we need a Russian down in Moscow, we need an airport, and uh, yeah, probably, probably up here. Or maybe we could have one northern, we, we will see. And also, uh, I've been busy. Uh, also, I've been upgrading all the trains and buses and all that, and now we actually have some pretty cool trains. We can take a little ride here with this one, because it's new, really strong trains. Uh, and I've hooked on a passenger wagon that can do 200 kilometers, because that's the max speed of this train, 200 kilometers. Maybe, I don't think there is... I think there is longer distances on this route. So let's see if we can 
gain max speed on here. We have a train here, so let's follow this and we speed up and we see how how quick we can get that because max speed on the old trains was 140. So as long as they can get over 140, we there is a win and look at that because they are so strong. They are definitely they're almost actually getting max speed because of this and this is just a short one maybe to uh, Sundsvall the next one let's see how this goes yeah it just pulls that that easy and I, I think we well maybe it's not that far either but maybe we can reach max speed. Now uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be close, but no cigar, right? Around 180 there as well. So where is the longest distance? These are quite short. Where do we have long distances? On this, yeah, maybe. I, I think I've added it on the Russian route here as well. Here is definitely a long one. So let's see. You are coming in and you only have like four or five vehicles that is actually full Moscow Hammerfest okay we need to uh, we definitely need to add more trains on here so let's do that right away so we have four one two three four five let's add six can we take a ride with you? Well, go really quickly. Yeah, you're doing maximum speed here. We are... Yeah, this is flying. Holy crap. And then we also have the TGV. That I... Maybe we should put the TGV on here. On this line. Because I think... Yeah, we should do that. We should definitely do that. Let, let's uh, change this right away. This is expensive. You should see how much money I spent. I will show you soon. But I want to throw on the TGV here. Boom. Let's change and we see how much spin you will gain. Okay, you are coming out here. So these are doing almost 300. Uh, yeah, we can quickly look at how much I spent here. Uh, we're making a really good amount of money every year, and then we spent a lot of money there, and then I did the big upgrade, upgrading all the train lines, and yeah. All right, we are over 200. So 220, I think, around that was the first. And do we? F yeah, we fit the station, so it's no worries there. Train is almost full. And let's have a look with that. We want 150. 60, 70. 190 and over 200 ah, and we got into a station all right we got the new Boeings we should definitely add a couple of those uh, so is this uh, it's not that long we need to like a express <laughs> road with just one or two stops to gain max speed but all right we this one is pretty cool because you definitely yeah, I think you will reach maximum speed there. But okay, enough fooling around. Let's start building. So uh, let's start with this one. And I would probably do this one as well. I would do this as a time lapse. So you don't need to hear me whining and rambling.
right, we uh, we are done. I probably missed something, like I usually do. But let's throw on some trains on these two lines, and uh, we see how it goes. I think I did the right thing here. Uh, what's the name? We did the Balticum line. We call it that. Uh, so, will this be popular? Maybe. Do we want it quick? Oh, no, we, we, we got the speed. We got quick trains, we got the money. Let's load up six. And how many trains do we want? I will throw on, let's start with four. It's a pretty short, short line. And while we wait for you to get on there, we will also throw on this is quite short as well. I'm not really sure. But yeah, we, we need a lot, at least four trains there as well. So let's do the same. One, two, three, two, three. And we give it four trains. And did I call it the finish line? <laughs> I, I'm so bad in, ah, uh, wait, that is, that doesn't look right. So you go out on the right, but when you turn Back, you don't use the right one. So number four, you will use and pass this one. Thank you. All right, now we're good to go. So let's back to this depot and finish. Finish Express. All right, so let's take a ride with this one first. Uh, where are we? Up here. So you are coming in to the station, and I think you are the first one. And these, I, I set it up a little stupid there, so they're actually crossing each other, but it's just now when we, uh, when we buy so many trains, but I think we're good. I set up the signals correctly on the way. It's actually going a lot uphill. Maybe we should have done a longer tunnel, but no. It looks nicer when they are above ground, right? So, we'll come down to Riga. And we've added a couple of uh, trams on there, but they haven't got time to start to use it yet. Yeah, we, we definitely we don't really need these quick trains, but, well, why not? We got almost 18 billion, so we can give our zero passengers some comfort. All right, so here we got some passengers. Are you gonna travel with us? Or do you wanna go with that? Oh, 14. Nice, yeah, we might need to add some more trams on there to ship all the people around. Then we go into uh, St. Petersburg. And I guess some people, well, well we, did we, I didn't build a passenger a terminal thing. Do we need that? Oh, this doesn't look nice at all. Um, well, there are people coming to the station anyway. Maybe, let's see, can, if I, we want passenger buildings, right? Can, I'm not even sure we can fit one. We can. All right, let's do that and that, and then we'll, they can uh, do some things there. Maybe they get some arcade games or something while we wait. And then it's up to, uh, yeah, <laughs> Veliki Novgorod. And we have our people here. And hopefully, oh, look at that. We might even start making money on that one. Let's jump down to our St. Petersburg line. And we don't have any trains. Maybe we can go from the other 
Okay, you are coming in with two passengers. And then you are leaving with 12. And I think this distance is a little longer, so we might even come up to 200 kilometers an hour here. Oh yeah. I, I was first thinking that I should use the same tracks, but then these passenger, well, these cargo trains only do 200, uh, 120. So I thought that no, let's let's use our own because we want to go fast. And then I need to do some uh, <laughs> things here to get this to work. This one went over the other one, and then we have this road the tunnel there. And yeah, I'm 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 really like this one because I I start to prepare everything because we I don't think we will have time to add airports in this uh, play well in this episode. But we will definitely add more planes there and uh, uh, add some planes because look at that. And this trams, like there are people actually using it. And yeah, there is a lot of people. And I think they even will go here, walk over and use that. Um, so you all these can get to each other. And maybe we should just add a small like boat line as well all right we we didn't rode the last route into st petersburg there we go yeah two small lines i could have probably make it a little differently and just hook this up so we had one longer line, but no, we already have so many long lines. All right, so you actually waited a little bit for that one? Well, that's probably because they haven't spread out yet. It will, there should definitely be room for four trains on this one. We'll just see how many that use it, but it looks like there is quite a lot. and. When we get this airport going, so maybe they can fly to, uh, yeah, we can have a short one to Stockholm or something down here. We'll see how we fit that one. We should try and fit one in Denmark as well. Uh, we, yeah, we need one in over here in Russia because they can't travel to, to St. Petersburg in just one go, right? They, they have to change a couple of trains to get there. So uh, this air, airport might be used quite a lot. 149, and then we we'll go to St. Petersburg. So how many? No, that's the cargo. Was it? Yeah. So let's wait for the next train. Maybe we should add another two. That is a cargo, and here is one. All right, so that is actually full. And you will just drop off a few, and then you get full again. All right, so the question is, we they are 240 meters. So, we'll look at the length, 232. So let's upgrade them to maximum length. And I will also throw in two other trains. Because look at that, there are 240 waiting. All right, we got some new a new tram and a new bus. So let's have a quick look 
how is our other line doing? <laughs> and it looks crowded. Uh, Balticum line, that is ridiculous. So we have to add another two of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And should we, do we even like, can I have six trains on here? Yeah, we should. That should be quite. Let's start with that and we see if we can manage the demand. That's still 200, but we have have one train coming there, another there. Okay, we got something. Train 93. Waiting for clear path. Uh, oh, they blocked each other because they are so long. All right, that was... Uh, hmm. Okay, I'll send you back. Will you move? Okay, I have to send you to the depot. No? Uh, do we have another train in here? Yes, we have. Okay. Uh, but yeah, it, it is not the smartest thing we ever I've ever done. So let's see. Let's sell it. This one, clean. You can go back. No. All right. So let's wait. Can we? Uh, I need to stop this train. Is that right? Stopping. Good. And we wait till you have pulled out. Then I will add the last one manually, so we don't get the, it's too short in between there. So you are coming there. Let's see if we can let out you, when you have left this one, or do we have another coming in? Maybe we, I don't think we have enough. Six trains should be okay. So when this has passed, we will let you go. There we go. And when you have left, if there is nothing, no other train coming in there, we will buy a new one. So we have six. Okay, I don't see a train. Uh, you are leaving. So let's buy one, and that should do the trick. So you are full. No, you're not. Okay. There is a lot of people who want to go back to Kaliningrad, and we should have the trains coming back very soon. And then they will spread out. So, uh, yeah. I don't think, are we making money on this line yet? Ah, oh, we're breaking even. Let's have a look at the St. Petersburg line. The Finnish Express. No, we're not making money yet. But we added a lot of, of uh, trains on there. So how many are on this one? Ah, oh, it's 31. Yeah, we we might need to remove you there, but okay, let's uh, we will let it run for a little bit. But it's definitely time to end this episode here. It was really fun, a lot of building, and we actually connected almost all cities now. I think it's this one left. I will make a bus line down there, and then in the next episode, that will probably be the last one we will focus on airplanes and we will add a few airports and connections 
and then we will fly fly around the map so uh, thank you very very much for watching please come back for the next one bye bye